Hey everyone, what is up, what is up? Ethereal here with another video. And today would mark the fourth week that we have been doing mini braids. So if you made it through a month of mini braids, give yourself a pat on the back because you have done a great job. Now we only have two more months to go. So let's get right into it. Now is a perfect time to check how our hair is doing, especially our new growth. So I'm going to be showing you today how much my hair has grown since I first put the mini braids in. Let me just show you really quick, a quick close up. Hopefully you can see. Gotten some new growth. The crown of my head tends to grow the most. Wish my hair wasn't too dark, but you can see, as you can see, it's grown about half an inch. So my hair grows pretty average. It doesn't grow over an inch. It's not like an abnormal type of growth. The front of my hair, of course, is a little fuzzy. See half an inch there. The sides grown have grown out a little bit it's hard to see because my hair is so dark but there's new growth all up in here i wish you could guys could see definitely a lot of new growth um also in the back also check your mini braids as well because you get to see on average how much your hair grows in a month now because you have been able to wait out the month of mini braids also i hope you got your snacks ready whatever you use to be able to relax and wind down because today i'm going to be doing a q a and i will be answering a lot of your questions that you guys have put in the comment section i hope that you were able to take pictures before you installed your mini braids and after you installed your mini braids like I did so that you can be able to keep track of your progress. All right, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so I'm just trying something a little different today. I wanted to kind of um, celebrate by doing a little mini mukbang. The reason why is because it's always good to celebrate the things that you have accomplished just to keep yourself going when you're in the middle of challenging yourself to do something. So as far as mini braids is concerned, like I said, we have gone through a month of mini braids already. So it's okay to treat yourself for doing a great job and being consistent with what you have set out to do. So right now what I have in front of me is sushi, as you can see. There's ginger, pickled ginger right here. I also have japchae and rice. This is a Korean dish. Um, I really love Asian food. So um, it's basically sweet potato, glass noodles uh, with a bunch of stir fried veggies like bell pepper, uh, mushroom, carrot, um, and things of that nature. And along with the side of rice. And then I also have kind of like a salad. It's just a basic house salad. Um, I don't really put any um, dressing on it. I kind of just eat it with everything. I also have to dip the sushi in um, some soy sauce and uh, uh, I put a little bit of, what is it called? Wasabi in it, I like spice. So, um, I eat it in that way and this is something that I get all the time I got this from Jay's kitchen this is not sponsored this is just my favorite restaurant um, so far with where I'm at so yeah let's get started hopefully you also have something of your favorite maybe a meal or maybe even a snack that you enjoy eating you can eat it along with me also the sushi that I have is just straight avocado sushi so um, there's no meat nothing like that in here this is pretty much a straight vegan meal um, even the job chase vegan. Don't forget to treat yourself. So the first question of the first two questions come from Tatiana Ashley 3323 and She asks do you moisturize while in protective styles? And how many times a week do you moisturize your hair in protective styles? So Tatiana what I usually do is I wear moisturize twice a week um, once on Wednesday and once on Saturday depending on how I uh, how my life is going like if I'm working out or not I'll just re-moisturize twice a week but um, if not and if I'm working out consistently I'll re-moisturize once a week and then on Saturday and the once a week will be on Wednesday and then on Saturday I um, usually just kind of do a light wash because if you're working out constantly you got to make sure that you kind of make sure that that scalp is clean because you're sweating a lot so 
that's kind of my re-moisturizing routine in mini braids the second question comes from brown skin 6019 i believe and it says how do i take my braids down without damaging my hair so this is a very good question um as far as taking your mini braids down without damaging it the way that i take my mini braids down is i just kind of kind of make sure that i start off with putting oil on my ends so i don't break my ends while i'm unbraiding and i just do it with tact i do it carefully uh, and unraveling and that's basically all you have to do and even if you it takes a long time just make sure that you just aren't breaking your head that's how i don't do it i make sure that i take my sweet time because i know that at the end of the day i'm actually going to be saving a lot of my hair strands because i'm not brushing through it so that's the most important thing the next question is from anything is possible with god 1879 so what anything is possible is um asking is what do you mean when you left your braids in for a whole year does that mean you never rebraided it during that year yes i do rebraid i rebraid every two months um so if that answers your question i hope that answers your question um but yeah I, I would never go a whole entire year without doing some type of like retouch up with my mini braids unless i was trying to lock um so that's kind of in a nutshell what i do the next question comes from vestia.3255 i hope i'm not butchering the name i'm sorry i don't know if it's base the a or vestia but yes um, <laughs> sorry if I did. Is it Alipe butter or Malipe butter? So the butter that I call, that mixture that I use on my hair is called Malipe butter. Um, it's a name that I came up with myself because it's a mixture of two different butters. But yes, it's Malipe butter with an M-A in front. What made you start wanting to grow your hair with mini braids and do it long term? so what made me want to put my hair in mini braids and grow them out long term is because i found um a couple years back that my hair grew really well when i put my hair in mini braids so or just in braids in general and I wanted to grow my hair out. I found that my hair just grew a lot better when it was in, in, in plaits or braids. I wanted to do it long term because I wanted to grow my hair as long as I possibly could. I wanted to see how long my hair could grow. So that's why I started, or if I could even grow my hair at all. So that's what started it, was realizing that, oh, my hair starts growing longer, or my hair retains length a lot faster or a lot easier when i put my hair in braids the next question is what was your trial and error finding products to treat your hair so my trial and error process was very a very interesting process in the beginning like honestly first nine years i had absolutely no idea what i was doing i was just trying a bunch of different products and mostly it all came from shea moisture um <sighs> A lot of the times I wasn't using the product properly, but even when I did use the product properly, um, it just really, for some reason, shea, the Shea Moisture products were not really working as well for my hair as I would like it to. Um, but I was still using these products, right? Um, so one day I had gotten to the point where I was just like, you know what? Um, I'm going to stop using these products. I'm going to start trying Ayurveda because I started looking online. I started noticing that there was like these natural products these ayurvedic products hey sorry you guys my um battery shut off on me it was submerged in water so unfortunately like it's a good thing that i did have another battery and stop but um i ended up getting carried away with the food and i started eating i, I could not resist it was so good i just kept eating i kept eating but i managed to stop myself <laughs> I managed to stop myself to be able to eat the japchae um, and I got myself some water while you know everything was while I was handling the technical difficulties so anyway um, what I was saying was that there was a specific youtuber um, 
and they're twins they're called two la la and i was looking at kind of um their videos i was looking at their videos and i noticed that like they just they they were just giving me insight on like different races and how they do their and their hair secrets and what they do to uh attain long hair and then i started doing some research of my own and i was like hmm what what people or what race of people have the longest hair and why and as i looked i noticed that among the people who have the longest hair are indian females um i the longest hair that i've ever seen on a woman has been um indian women and their hair i think the shortest i've ever seen hair on an indian woman was to their backside so that says a lot right there okay and so as i've started learning about this and how i started learn and i started learning about how shikakai how um a lot of indians use shikakai in their hair to grow long hair and all the other stuff like amla and aretha and um bring raj and all of that to grow their hair to long length so i was like hmm i don't know their hair is a different texture than mine it's definitely not like my hair is there any way I can incorporate that into my hair to grow it longer? Is that a possibility? And then I was looking at the Yao woman. You know that rice water trend became really popular. So I was like, I was looking at the right. I tried rice water one day. And my hair was like, no. So I was just still on the fence about the Shikakai stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm looking at these benefits and it's saying that it's supposed to not strip your hair completely of all your natural oils that help to grow your hair and blah 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 blah. And I'm like, this sounds like something that my texture of hair would ha wouldn't have a problem lo uh, enjoying and loving. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. But then I started seeing female, black female YouTubers online doing shikikai um washes and stuff Sh shikikai masks on their hair and i did try out the mask first right there was a lot of people i don't remember specifically who um because there was a lot of people doing it at the time and i, I tried it out but the mask was not good for me because the little particles that was left in my hair my hair is very tightly coiled so it just caused a lot of like breakage for me so then one day i was like you know what i'm just gonna strain all of this the, this stuff this extra pulp and stuff and I'm gonna see if that works on my hair and it it worked right so I was like okay my hair likes this I'm not getting dandruff like I did before I used to have like my hair used to get dry like crazy so I was like okay this this can work and so I started I, I started delving more into Ayurveda because of what I had found from doing the those experiments on my hair and then um, I also looked into African products because the one thing I noticed is that my ends are very finicky right They're very finicky um, very easy to get into single strand knots and I was like how do I how do I stop this right and um, hold on I'm forgetting that I have food in front of me this is done <laughs> And put this to the side so I, what i do after i finish eating the sushi if i have any leftover soy sauce what i do is i put it in the jache like this whatever is left over and i mix it in with the jache and i eat it that way and i started learning about soft butters and hard butters and then I found out about mango butter, found out about lipe butter, kupuwaku butters, all different types. So it just it just made me just start to try natural products because it seemed like my hair responded the best of products that didn't have a bunch of chemicals and stuff in it. Um, my hair is super duper uber vegan, okay? Not like me though, you know, I like, I like meat and cheese and stuff. I have to get to a point where I'm not eating as much. Like there was a time actually where I once I was vegan for about a good six seven eight months and i cracked like an egg because i missed hot wings and ramen noodles <laughs> so <laughs> i have to get back into eating healthier um but it didn't stop me from trying more vegan stuff but i, I still um since then i've been on the fence of um actually embracing the diet fully 
but I do one day want to get to a point where I'm actually like fully embracing the diet because I've seen during that six seven eight months I was my skin was so radiant I was the healthiest I had ever been in my entire life my vision cleared up there's a lot of crazy things that happened when I went on a vegan diet and then I got into fasting like dude oh my god there's a lot I could tell but this is <laughs> um, we're speaking about the products right and so that's kind of what caused me to learn more about my products and you know my hair and what it liked and what it didn't like like just me deciding one day that you know I'm sick of my hair not liking my products because the more you pay attention to your hair the more you realize when it doesn't like something it'll get all frizzy and like hard to deal with and stuff and you like okay okay I, I get it you don't you and this product don't mix okay you know and um before because I was just like that was the only thing I knew was Shea Moisture like that was the only thing I was introduced to like so that was the only thing that I was like accustomed to but I, I just never really thought to pay attention to how my hair reacted to it. I was just like, I, I just just put into my mind that oh, my hair is supposed to react like this. Yeah, it's just this is this is just it. This is the end all and be all. But why is my hair not growing? Why is my hair breaking off? You know. <laughs> so yeah, man, like it it was crazy. Uh, but once I figured that out, it was good. And that's one thing that I will say about like natural products. Like you don't gotta worry about nothing like more than likely most people who delve into natural or get in um getting into natural products will find that they don't have as many problems or issues with their hair accepting it because it's just natural stuff at least my hair likes it so the next question was if there were any setbacks in my hair journey setbacks not necessarily just kind of stagnation i guess if that's considered a setback i just didn't know what the heck i was doing like I was just constantly doing twist outs on my hair every day. It was just, it just wasn't, it just never worked out until I decided to make a change. The next question is basically, you know, what are people's reaction to my hair? How do people usually see my hair? I do you get get hate? Do you get love? What is, what is that experience like? Like, so um, I will tell you that um. <laughs> I have I've had multiple reactions to my hair um, some good some bad I won't I've come to realize that it doesn't matter how long your hair is if it's not a desired texture it won't like people will still find or if it's not a, the texture that is desired people will figure out a way to try and make you feel terrible for having that type of hair you guys i've been through some stuff okay jeez i could go on about this like you let me know in the comments if you guys want me to um talk more about my experiences there's a lot of other experiences that i've had um it is crazy like oh my god like but um literally you're fighting against some really strong programming in the black community maybe i should make a video on this like there's a lot there's a lot that has happened so i don't want to get this video to get too long if i do get compliments it's backhanded compliments yeah it, it's a very strange dynamic sometimes i wonder if like having long horsey hair is a curse or something <laughs> because a lot of times um people just really hate the fact that you like you're, you're black and you can grow your hair long i guess that's like a taboo or something that should never be done in real life um but something about it just makes me more rebellious if that makes sense <laughs> because i know that the reason why is because like there's just a lot of like sometimes just you having long hair and it being 4c brings out people's demons brings out people's ugliness um within themselves like you're literally watching them struggle etern internally with themselves and you get people from all ages in different genders <laughs> so um definitely an interesting thing to experience not the most pleasant thing but once you understand it you don't allow it to affect you i appreciate all of you who have asked me the questions in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week this is ethereal signing off bye